so God puts his spirit in a man and every time you pray to see God in your life God will always send a man who carries his spirit and he calls him my man the man of God he says touch you not the anointed one because every time you touch the man that God is using you are touching God all by himself because this man ceases to be an natural man he becomes the man of God because in order for God to reveal himself he has to create something in his own image and likeness and that's why every praise and every worship is additional uh, it adds glory is an ad in the kingdom of God because something that was created in the image and likeness of God is walking in the ways of the manifestation so the breakthrough you are praying for the elevation you are praying for the healing you are praying for the miracle you are praying for before it is too late God will present himself but through the man so Jesus said if I will not go this thing will not come over you so every time God sends a man his man the man who carries his spirit he has sent his spirit to you he sends the spirit to you now it will take not only your prayer but also your discernment you can pray for eight hours 10 hours 20 hours three days one week but without attaching the discernment on your prayer to know when God has descended in that room you will keep on missing on God because you are expecting to see God appear to you like an alien those things you drew while you were in primary school that is not Jesus the thing you used to draw when you are doing the Christian religious education that is not Jesus Jesus uh, does not look like that uh, his shade uh, is of Im great importance that I go so that this spirit can come inside you so every time God wants to answer your prayers by revealing himself. He sends a man who carries his spirit. So when we are talking about Elijah, Elijah is one of the major prophets and not the minor prophet because the essence is not how big the prophet was or how small the prophet was. It's about the assignment. So the assignment of God in the life of Elijah makes Elijah to be a major prophet. He is a major prophet and God is using him for his own assignment. So when you see Elijah, you have seen God. I'm preaching now. When you see Elijah, you have seen God because what Elijah is coming to do, he is coming to do the will of the Father and not his own will for the spirit inside Elijah is the spirit of God so be careful after you have prayed to see God in your life and what appears before you is Elijah so you ignore the Elijah because you have the wrong perception of who God needs to be in your life when you have prayed for 21 days Elijah will show up and it is your discernment over the Elijah that will make your prayers to be fully answered someone say the perception sometimes ladies and gentlemen we sit before the teachings of the man of God we attend seminars conferences and all those stuff but when we are leaving the conferences we leave the same way we came we live in the flesh we go home with the same demons because our perception was not matching our prayers
so it is the perception discernment and the prayer so whoever designed Elijah as a prophet received the reward of the prophet because the spirit in the prophet is the spirit of God it's wrong ladies and gentlemen for you to come at the ECC service and you expect to see uh, something looking funny on the altar and say my name is Jesus because that is the day nobody will ever show up at Eternity City Church it will be all over the news that a demon came in Eternity City Church and that's why God has to put his spirit in Shadrach so that when you are discernment is correct and your perception is correct after such power packed service you are going home with your miracle you are going home with your breakthrough you are going home delivered you are going home changed because your perception towards the man of God was right and not negative you are not in the service tell your neighbor discernment I know you can pray but put on discernment I know you are a champion in fasting but it's until you put on discernment I know you can praise until all heavens are open but it's until you put on discernment of who the prophet that God has sent in your life is it is wrong to see Elijah and say things Elijah is just like any other man because Elijah died and what is alive in Elijah is the Spirit of God say again the Spirit of God so he stands and he declares there shall be no rains for three and a half years but only by my word I don't like the way you are quiet you could have stayed in your house and be quiet massage your demons listen to me he stands on the word of God and he says for three and a half years there shall be no rains and God obeys the word because God is the same with the Son. God is the same with the Spirit. And there is no way God is going to ignore what is connected to him. Now listen to me. I have a problem with this thing because when Elijah was giving the prophecy, he did not think about himself. He is giving the prophecy that will affect his life, affect his people, affect those who are close to him. And immediately the Bible says the Spirit of God carried Elijah to the brook of Cherith. Someone say the brook of Cherith. Say again the brook of Cherith. So when he was at the brook of Cherith, he was being fed by the ravens. Have you ever been fed by the ravens? There are people here, you have been fed by the ravens, but you have no idea because your discernment is dead. When you have no job, but you have survived the year 2023, you have nobody to depend to, but you have survived the whole year, paying your bills, feeding yourself. You have had the shelter in the year 2023. That is what it means by being fed by the ravens. Praise the name of God. Have you ever been fed by the ravens? Waking up in the morning, you don't know how you will eat. You don't know how you will feed this you don't know how you will put this together but it is 11 o'clock in the morning and someone gives you a call and say I just put 200 in your phone find out what you can do with it I just did this find out what you can do with it being fed by the ravens because you carry the spirit of God praise the name of Jesus say that what is happening around you does not affect you God has a way of shielding his prophets uh, and working out the life of the prophets uh, just to make sure the assignment in the prophet uh, it is protected. I came in the stadium today to tell you there is a great assignment of God in your life uh, and whether it is not raining for three and a half years uh, the spirit of God will still sustain you at the brook of Cherith. Uh, I wish, I wish, I wish someone can get this. Praise the name of God. You got no politician in your family. 
I say you got no great business people in your family but the spirit of God has just kept you at the brook of Sherith what God has been protecting in your life is his assignment if you carry the spirit of God so you are the prophet so God knows how to watch over the life of the prophet it is dry but God will find you food it is dry but God will find you water you have no money to go to the hospital you woke up in the morning and the situation is not there you went to bed feeling so sick but in the morning the sickness is not there praise the name of God is a way of God for the protecting the prophets who carry their assignment and allow me to say this to every one of you here and those who are watching me online you carry the assignment of God and whether the, the heavens are shut God will command the ravens you know the truth is uh, there are so many of you here that God has been commanding the ravens uh, but you are not aware you think you deserve the help that people are sending your way no you don't deserve it's a God's way of the provision because you carry the assignment uh, and that's why in that brook of Cherith uh, every time you lift up your hands to worship God receives the glory and he says whether you are in the brook of Cherith I feel like preaching now whether the heavens are shut for three and a half years I still have my own ways of providing for you this message is not for people who are married this message is not for people who are working this message is for people who are living all by themselves because people have a backup they cannot understand I want to speak to people who depend on God the Father God the Son, God the Holy Spirit waking up in the morning and you don't know how everything is going to turn around I'm at the brook of cherry the brook of cherries at the brook of cherries is where you have strangers blessed